Hi, I'm Elijah with ALF Lawn and Pest, and we are going to talk about something today. Uh, Patrick suggested we talk about Joro spiders. These are these crazy looking spiders that are massive. They start out little, they greenish and yellowish, and they are disgusting. They get in all your shrubs, they make these big webs in between shrubs, they make these big webs in between the post on your front porch, and you walk out to get your Amazon delivery and bam you got a spider this big on your face in your face so we're going to see an explosion about the july time frame they will start to pop out when it gets hot that's when they thrive so you'll see them in the shrubs and you're going to start seeing them on the on the power lines that's the thing i noticed the most really you know you you can knock down your spider webs around your home and you're not really going to have show many too so much discomfort but as you go out you're going to see them all over the entrance sign you're going to see them in the power lines and you know the explosions happening so, 2021 man that was like movie insane it was insane there was nowhere there wasn't webbing and it's going to continue since they are here uh, the theory is they ended it got in a container from japan china wherever they come from right and once they got here they got on the east coast boom last year they said that the population was to double in size i guess i really didn't notice if it was double or not because they're everywhere anyway so i guess you can expect that they're going to double in size again until we get some kind of directive to where we can just eradicate the things but for the time being i would suggest maybe a tree and shrub application when you start to see them so that they get a residual on them to kill them off or direct contact kill as you see them come you know have you a spray bottle of some kind of insecticide that you can get at home depot spray them because as they grow and as they build these webs they're going to catch more food right that's what they do they build webs catch food eat it lay eggs and when they lay the eggs they'll put them in a pouch in the web and then the wind will go whew, take them away and they'll take those eggs somewhere else land them and those little eggs will turn into smaller little joro spiders and then they'll grow into big joro spiders and then the process starts over again they eat they eat they eat lay some eggs wind takes them big parachute of yellowish spider webs turns into a parachute moves them somewhere else lays more eggs process starts all over again so it's get like an Charlotte's insecticide web. down and they don't even write nothing in the web nope no Charlottes, no Charlottes no. on these spiders. No Charlottes, man. It's just <laughs> no Charlottes on these spiders. I was so set up by, by and, childhood books. And it's not as sad when you kill one. <clears throat> no, it's not. No. Now these guys look like what we call in Texas banana spiders. Long. Yeah, ish, they kind of do. Black with yellow. Yeah, they kind of do. We've seen design. those around, but they're not as aggressive as building the population the banana spiders are not as aggressive as the oh they're, they're already settled in texas yeah. man i mean i again 21 was movie level to my experience i just there was nowhere and for months months i was still doing the whole uh, booger apocalypse delivery mm -hmm. stuff so 10 hours a day on the road was normal and i never didn't see webs at that time mm -hmm. all through the power lines on anything that wasn't moving uh pretty amazing um cool is there a does alf have some sort of uh because where i'm at we got a lot of venomous stuff i've got the silverfish i got the scorpions uh the spiders uh you know and variances of ants um and i'm trying to think of what earwigs i mean it, it's like it's like a rogues gallery of the local venomous pest is there a special anything to do about that or is that just covered like in general pest control would you say well i wouldn't be too, too much in saying that all these insects are venomous uh, most of them are just scorpions scorpions can spiders sting. spiders can earwigs but not all of them well not all of them not all of no. those insects and not all spiders are going to be venomous that a lot of spiders are just going to eat bugs. Now you do have your brown recluse, you do have your black widows that can be harmful to you and create problems with uh, in, with your body that are would be venomous. 
Will they bite you if you come in contact with them? Maybe, yes, they, they might, and they may get a bump and itch and scratch, and I think they've got one on my elbow from some spider, but it's not a venomous, gonna kill you from just a random spider or an earwig. But anyway, yes, they could create an irritant. You're not wrong, but I wouldn't spread that every insect is going to kill you if you I come in contact. I say every insect. But most, most things are covered in our general pest. There are wigs, silverfish, some spiders, which are a little harder to, to contain than most general pests because you have to have something that stays with the spider. They just, you know, most of the other things that we treat for are going to eat something that we put on the ground. You, you can go to check out one of our general pest videos where we we're putting out a granular and that will help control most of the general pests that are gonna enter your home. Keep the food outside, the pests are gonna take out, stay outside. So that's why we put the granulars down, right? right? Spiders, we can't, they're eating insects. So they're building webs, catching moss, catching flies, whatever it may be. Those things are harder to control around your property than something that's crawling along the ground and eating. So we're gonna have a harder time controlling that, but if we can keep a barrier on the outside of your home with some kind of liquid form of pest, insecticide, and they get it on their, in their hairs and are able to absorb it through their, through their skin or skeleton, exoskeleton, uh, at some point in time, it will kill them off. Hey guys, help us get to 100 subscribers by the end of this month. Hit like, subscribe, boom. Any of those buttons out there, whatever it takes. I don't know where they're at, but hit them. Help us get to 100 by the end of the month.